Hello ladies and happy Friday. I hope everybody had a awesome week. I hope that everybody had a very well-rounded, productive week. Um, Today was a really good Friday uh, for me at work. Um, It was kind of slow, thank God. (laughs) Because, you know, as you all know, now until damn near the end of January is where everybody's insurance is kicking in and you know people are trying to get those last minute surgeries before the year is up because of this insurance so you know if you work in the medical field you already know what's going on (laughs) um so we're busy 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 in the OR for sure but I want to come you ladies and talk to you about my video title Daddy says, I can't grow up to be a princess. Um, So there is this older white gentleman, um, probably in his late 60s, um, you know, that's a physician assistant. And um, he works in the OR. And really great guy, really awesome guy. I love chatting with him. He always has something insightful to talk about. So, you know, it was kind of like a group of us. We had a little bit of downtime and everybody was just kind of chatting, you know, uh, in between cases and whatnot. And they got on the subject of children because, I mean, (laughs) a lot of people I work with, you know, of course, have children and, you know, they love to talk about their kids a lot at work and everything like that. You know, like the basics, um, packing lunch, uh, (laughs) school schedules, things like that. Now, he was talking about um, his son, um, his son and and his wife, you know, have a little girl. And, um, you know, he was just really saying how, you know, these kids nowadays are just really spoiled um, with all this social media stuff going on, like YouTube and everything like that. And mind you, even though he's older, he's very hip. Like, <laughs> he's very hip to the game. Like, he's he's hip to YouTube, TikTok, all of that stuff, right? And, you know, he was just really talking about how, you know, all the kids nowadays, you know, they all think they can be TikTok stars and YouTubers. And, you know, he said these kids nowadays, they just, they don't really aspire to be you know real live career you know they don't really want a career these days everybody wants something fast paced everybody wants to be a youtuber everybody you know wants to be on tiktok everybody you know they want to be into all this stuff and you know he was saying you know my granddaughter We're trying to teach her that she's going to need to go to college to support herself. And, you know, my son, you know, uh, (laughs) you know, this is how he talks. You know, he was saying, you know, my son, you know, he tries to, and so does her mother. You know, they both try to instill in her all the time that, you know, listen, you know, in this, in this world, sweetheart, I'm sorry, but you can't grow up to be a princess, honey. Now, This is a guy who is a physician assistant. He comes from a line of doctors himself. His son is actually a a doctor. Um, He just happened to go the physician assistant route. But yeah, his son is actually a doctor and um, his wife um, works in the medical field as well. I believe she's a nurse practitioner or something like that. But trust and believe she's getting money as well. Okay, they, you know, they get money. Um, And see, this is what I'm talking about, you know, I share these particular stories with you all because this is my actual everyday life. This is not no YouTube stuff. I tell you all information that I come face to face with every day going to work and working in surgery. And I'm trying to tell y'all these doctors and physician assistants and these men that's making <laughs> three, four hundred thousand dollars a year, they are not raising their kids to be princesses and you know uh his son you know was you know telling him you know telling the father like you know I really need to get the you know get this child into some shape because she told me that she told me that daddy I want to grow up to be a princess and you know she's young or whatever but um (laughs) 
okay, sorry about that, ladies. My uh, voice recorder actually cut off. But like I was saying, you know, she's still, you know, she's still a young girl. But, you know, uh, his son and him, you know, they were just talking about how, you know, uh, see, we believe that she's getting that idea because of television and maybe stuff that she sees. And now he was saying that <laughs> even when he babysits her or while she's at home with her parents, they try to limit what she watches on YouTube and television, period. Because, <laughs> you know, his son was actually saying to him, this is what he was telling us, by the way. His son was saying that, you know, she's going to, she's going to damn college and that's final. She is going to damn college. She's not doing anything else. She is going to damn college. You know, me and my, me and, me and her have worked way too hard for her to, you know, grow up to grow, for her to grow up and believe that she can live off her parents or that she doesn't have to work or she doesn't have to work for what she wants or have to do anything you know me and her have we're in you know we have worked hard and put ourselves you know in in debt and paying off our debt in order to have this type of lifestyle to provide for her and she's gonna have to she's gonna have to learn and I want y'all I'm telling y'all this because y'all listening to a lot of these women on YouTube that have no clue about career oriented people I'm telling you from experience you know I've been in healthcare for seven years these are the type of people these are the type of people that I'm around all the time five to seven days a week for seven years I I know these these type of men very well I work with them I don't know anything Um, outside of not working with a lot of male physicians. And I'm trying to tell you this as a person who has a career working in surgery. Um, And hey, going to be a future MD myself. Um, You know, these class of people, they believe in working for what you want. Um, So, you know, you really have to have a certain mindset and value education because, you know, this was a perfect example. They are not about to, you know, sit up here and let her believe that she's just going to be a pamper prince, a pamper princess when she grows up. They're trying to get her out of that. So they're doing changes. They're watching what she consumes on YouTube. Uh, no more YouTube or less YouTube, less television, less this, less that. Um, because he said she's for damn sure going to college because they have already set that child up a college fund okay they believe in education and this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand you cannot listen to people on YouTube that have no career they've never went to school a day in their life they have no college foundation they have no uni- no type of university foundation and they have never even been around people like this in these type of careers to tell you anything I've been around these people for seven years and this is all I know okay nobody's out here teaching their children to be pampered princesses and you know she's a little girl so you know little girls are gonna want to be princesses and that's perfectly normal but the foundation is education and that's what a lot of these people push their kids into okay um i'm just gonna flat out say it these white men that you see that are physician assistants and and um going into different uh surgical residencies and stuff like that they don't come from no families that believe in just sitting there and being cute as a woman i'm telling you the truth especially these white women especially these white women you know again education is the foundation um these men and women that you all think is just higher echelon and ooh they're doctors and got money and i bet she gets to go on a shopping spree because she's married to a doctor ah no, no 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 it's not like that it's not like that okay <laughs> Both people are working. Both people have careers that are making them big bucks, okay? These white men or any of these other type of men, they I'm trying to tell you all, they are not going to raise their daughters to believe that they can grow up 
to be pampered and not have to work. Even these women that are married to these men, they know that. These women, even if they're stay-at-home moms, you better damn believe, I bet you they could run circles. <laughs> they could run academic circles around a lot of people and, and they could probably do damn near the, the same thing that he's doing. She's married to a brain surgeon. I, I bet your bottom damn dollar <laughs> that I, she's probably working part-time somewhere running her own private practice, okay? So... I just wanted to kind of share this uh, story with you all to give you some insight um, just about my experiences being around, um, you know, certain type of career uh, oriented men in healthcare who are, you know, earning a extremely high wage being physicians. Okay. Um, I want to tell you this, these stories to help you understand the, the actual mindset, not no YouTube stuff, okay? Um, ladies, just know, you know, <sighs> sorry about that. Just know there is a stronger dynamic of being a power couple versus the pampered princess nobody wants the pamper princess and I'm just here to tell you that no man wants the pamper princess you want to get with a man making three hundred thousand dollars or more being a spine surgeon baby you cannot be a pamper princess okay so ladies um if you have any questions or comments or even any video suggestions suggestions please leave them in the comment section and I will talk to you again later bye